Okay, I want to make a video showing uh, how to replace this mirror here. It's kind of flopped around. I got a, a new one. And uh, so, the trick comes into I'm going to try to do this without taking the door panel off. I don't know if I can do that or not. But so, I'll show you the steps on the way. First thing you need to do is uh, open this up. I probably have to get a little screwdriver in there. But there's a screw in here, so we'll start. Okay, with I pop this off here. That just goes right there. And if you look inside, there's a little screw in there. And I just used one of these little freebie screwdrivers. I don't even know where I get these things from. Uh, it looks like this came from Shucks Auto Supply. Anyways, uh, so you just use a little screwdriver. There's a, um, looks like a little divot down there, but I just kind of worked it in there and popped it off. So next I'm going to take that screw out. Just going to use a Phillips screwdriver yeah, yeah. to take that handle off. Um, there's a screw. And it was this screw, the screw just was, holds that in there. Anyway, so it just took the handle off. So next comes the fun part. Whether or not I can get this black plastic off uh, without pulling the door panel, that's kind of going to be the showstopper there. So let me pause and fight with that, and I'll pick it up when I, if I, I get it I don't know off. if I just got lucky, but um, this video will help you guys out because I want to show you stuff on, you can't see this when it's put together. So there's a clip there, that's just a pressure clip, and then there's a 90 degree lip right there. And those are the two big players. And I'll show you where that lip goes. See right there is a piece of metal, that lip goes in there. I'm not even 100% sure it was on there. So you can't pull the bottom out. Um, and then that clips up here. So looking at this, if I knew this, I would try to pop the top out first and then lift the whole thing up. So. Again, you'd pop the top out maybe and try to lift. It's kind of weird because this thing's in the way, but when you go to put it back in, um, you want to make sure that that lip goes in first and then pop the top in. So that's a big bonus. Now, um, oh, it looks like, see, it looks like there's clips up there. Yep, sure enough. But these are just pressure clips. There's pressure clips on top that'll go in up here. So there's something else to watch out for. Um, so anyways, now I'm dealing with these three Phillips screwdrivers. I'm going to take those out and hopefully the mirror will come All right, out of that. good news. Point. All I did was take those three screws out. And as I was doing it with one hand, I was supporting the mirror. And the other hand, I took the screws out. And that got my mirror out. And there you can see that's where the three screws went. And there's... There's the three screws. So that's a big, let's see what it looks like on the other side here. So there we go. Um, so now I'm gonna get the other mirror and this is where we'll find out whether or not um, the other mirror's OEM enough to actually fit in there. It should fit, but um, that's kind of the, as I'm just using an eBay mirror and uh, so it's kind of a gamble whether or not that stuff will fit up good. So let me go grab the mirror and I'll try to put All it right, in. All right, the mirror went in. I'm just gonna show you on this old one here. Um, see, so it's got the three triangular screws, and it just like hooks right on the outside there, and it's got rubber seals around it. And when I tighten it up, hopefully that'll seal it off. Um, the way I did this was, uh, I just with one hand I held the mirror, other hand reached over and just hand tightened this screw, and then my swing around, and, and I only put in these. Little tip for you is. Um, don't tighten any of the screws down. Just put this one in almost all the way and then this one in almost all the way and then this one in almost all the way. That way you make sure it lines up. If you tighten like these two down and this one's off a little bit, you're going to be fighting the system. So um, anyway, so that's where I'm at right now. And uh, so I'm going to just tighten those screws down and then we'll pick all it up right, I wish that. I could have shown this, but uh, I didn't bring my stand out and I'm doing this by myself real quick. Um, what I did was I slid the bottom in first in that lip and then just rocked it in and popped the top in and it popped right in. And it looks like it's got a nice seat down there. And then so I'm almost done. All I gotta do is put that little handle on and then I should right, be here's done. Something I wanted to show you is kinda cool. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. But this um this handle's set one way so it'll only go one way because I was like looking at this and go, Oh, I wonder which way this handle goes on. And this end here is beveled too, so um, don't force it, just put it on the correct way. Oops, I got it upside down. <laughs> so there you go, so that just goes on there. And then you put your little set screw, which is right there. Let's see, I need two hands here. So I'm just going to put that set screw. I just wanted to show you 
that that is will only go on one way, so pay attention right, to that. There we have it. I just put the plastic cap back on, and we kind of wiggle this thing around. See, it makes the mirror move around for you. And uh, just want to make sure that when you close it, it's going to clear the door, and it does. And so that's about it. That's how you put a. That's how you switch out your mirror. And it's really happy you didn't have to pull that door panel off. Uh, mine looks a little bit funny. I don't know if I'm missing a screw there or something. This is kind of flopping around. But it might. It's, it's pretty old, so maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. Anyhow, um, hope this video helps you out.